reporting from Down Under. I just want to make this as a postscript. Uh, this guy made a video and he's talking about uh, um, uh, disinformation from my from my part. Uh, he hasn't been able to find a simple uh, uh, thing on the Danish uh, website. All he had to do was look up Google and then pull down some items uh, relating to the Arctic and, and uh, sea ice thickness and he would have found it in a heart heartbeat but he has to make this video and it took him eight hours after that to, uh, to find it. It just comes back to this whole thing that people just pretend because they, I mean I love Zach Leib too but uh, you know most of his stuff is just about uh, sea ice extent and that's highly uh, um, highly misleading as I've been pointing out uh, for as long as I've been covering this, you have to look at sea ice concentration, you need to look at sea ice thickness. The various data sets uh, more or less uh, confirm each other. I'm not saying, in fact I didn't say anything, I just, I just reported what someone else was saying. I'm not saying that it's going to be gone in 90, 90 hours, but that, that's, that's someone's opinion, but uh, obviously um, you know, it's going to be um, gone in a matter of weeks, as, 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 as Margot points out. So, yeah, I just find some of these NTHE people just off the planet, really. I mean, they just kind of believe what they want to believe instead of they seem incapable, unwilling to, uh, to follow the actual evidence. And uh, if they have to go off and uh, find it for themselves, well, you may as well forget about it. They're just lazy, most of them. Anyway, <laughs> that's my comments.